Find the exact value of each trigonometric expression. In part A, we'll evaluate the sine of pi over 3 times the cosine of pi over 6, plus the cosine of pi over 3 times the sine of pi over 6. Use the unit circle to find the value of each trigonometric ratio. Multiply to get 3 over 4 plus 1 over 4. Add to get 4 over 4. Divide to get 1. This is the answer. In part b, we'll evaluate the cosine of pi over 4 times the cosine of pi over 6 minus the sine of pi over 4 times the sine of pi over 6. Use the unit circle to find the value of each trigonometric ratio. Multiply to get root 6 over 4 minus root 2 over 4. Subtract to get root 6 minus root 2 over 4. In part c, we'll evaluate 2 times tan pi over 6 over 1 minus tan squared pi over 6. Rewrite the original expression. tan pi over 6 is equal to sine pi over 6 over cos pi over 6. Sine pi over 6 equals 1 half, and cos pi over 6 equals root 3 over 2. Replace each trigonometric ratio with its equivalent fraction. For each fraction division, multiply the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator. Use cancelling to simplify. Simplify further. The terms in the denominator must share a common denominator amongst themselves before we can subtract. Subtract the terms in the denominator. Multiply the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator. Use cancelling to get 3 over root 3. Rationalize the denominator. Multiply the numerator and denominator by the square root of 3. This gives us 3 times root 3 over 3. Cancel the 3's to get root 3. This is the exact value answer. In part d, we'll evaluate tan of 3 pi over 4 minus tan of pi over 6 over 1 plus tan of 3 pi over 4 times tan of pi over 6. Rewrite the original expression. The tan ratios can be written as sine over cosine. Replace each sine and cosine with its unit circle value. For each fraction division, multiply the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator. Use cancelling to simplify. Simplify further. The terms in the numerator and denominator must share a common denominator amongst themselves before we can subtract. Subtract the fractions.
multiply the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator. Use cancelling to simplify. We now have negative root 3 minus 1 over root 3 minus 1. Rationalize the denominator. Use the conjugate of root 3 minus 1, root 3 plus 1. Multiply the fractions. Since we are multiplying binomials, we can use the FOIL technique to multiply. Simplify. Divide each term by 2 to get negative 2 minus root 3. This is the exact value answer.